here with Coach Bruce Weber following Illinois' 89-85 overtime victory over Fulgore Omega, the final game of the trip. And Coach, it was a wild game. A lot didn't go our way, but you got to be pleased with the resolve and competitiveness the team showed. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. It's a lot of circumstances, tough circumstances for our guys. And, you know, the, the basketball traveler group that organized the tour didn't really want us to play four nights in a row. And, we had so many guys to play. I, I just insisted on five games, and, and it took a toll. We also had the great opportunity to play the New Zealand national team in West Virginia at uh, Aviano, and I didn't want to pass up those. So, you know, probably would have had a game earlier in, in, the, uh, in the tour, uh, maybe last Monday. It would have spread it out a little bit and made it a little easier. But as you said, in the long run, with uh, long bus rides, touring this morning, unbelievable tour, uh, boat tour of Lake Como it was just amazing. Going to Bellagio, the village at the north end of the of the uh, lake, um, then having the bus to the, the game tonight, and and it was very very hot. Uh, yeah, I guess the good thing about the alumni game and the inter squad game, it prepared us for uh, what we had to deal with, and and a just tired leg, tired bodies, uh, not as much sleep. Uh, and, and, and just, you know, it takes a toll, but it's good for us in the long run. And we overcame that and some questionable officiating, uh, to say the least, and, and still survived and found a way to win. I challenged the older guys in the second half to, hey, you, you want, this is what it's about. You want to be the guys? Step up and make plays. And, uh, you know, Myers finally woke up, got some things done. Brandon Paul had some plays. Sammy made a steal. Crandall Head made some big plays. DJ. Um, and found the way to get out of victory. So good ending to the trip, uh, great experience, some very, very good games for us, and a lot to build on, and uh, a lot of improvement to go, though. So that, but, you know, you can't ask for more than what we went through. It's a little reminiscent this game was of the New Zealand game earlier in the week. We were down four near the end of regulation against both teams. Both times you came back to force overtime. This time you finished it in overtime. What, what was the difference, you think, compared to the other night? I think a little bit. Uh, our kids wanted it more. Um, and then we wore them down with our depth. And they went, they were, they shot the three ball, typical international type uh, offenses, spreading the out ball screens, uh, kicking it, kicking it, and hitting wide open threes. And, uh, you know, we adjusted a little bit defensively. And, and I think they, they wore down uh, and, and missed some shots and didn't make some plays. But our kids were aggressive and really. Uh, got after people. Uh, Myers did a, blocked, I think, three shots in the overtime. Uh, we got some steals, uh, made the plays we had to down the stretch, and and that that's going to happen during the season. There's, you know, if you go back to last year, Penn State at Indiana, those games were easily won, um, and we weren't able to do that. And you know, tonight we found a way to win, so that's a positive step for our team. Obviously, the end of a long trip, everyone's pretty exhausted right now, but uh, can you just kind of sum up the opportunity and the amazing week or 10 days we had here? Well, it was amazing. I've been on a lot of tours, and we were very fortunate, to, to, you know, from Rome to Florence to Tuscany to Pisa to uh, Venice, um, and then to come to Lake Como to finish. Uh, you know, if these guys don't have great memories from that, uh, you know, and they were great travelers. I, I complimented them. Uh, because it's not easy what we did, as you know, you you would know, I know, uh, you know, late last night, and you still want them to go out and, and tour and have a little fun and enjoy the cities and opportunities, and, you know, it took a toll. Uh, I asked a lot of the guys uh, just walking around and stuff the last couple of days, have they enjoyed it, and, you know, just a great experience, so much fun, but they said, man, it's been long, and it feels like three weeks, and, you know, I, I told them that, uh, once at Purdue as an assistant, we went 22 days and played 10 games. So they think they have a tough to think about that kind of trip. But, uh, you know, just a very great trip. Italy is a tremendous country, and uh, this is my first time here, and I really, really enjoyed it, and, and I know the kids did too. And then finally, uh, I want you to talk about you have a really unique opportunity. We're all coming back tomorrow to the States, but you're going to stay with your wife for a couple of days. T tell everyone why. Well, I, my dad was born in Austria. And, uh, you know, I've never had a chance to go there where he was born. I was just, while we were preparing the trip, I just realized Austria is right, kind of Switzerland, Austria. We we're almost in Switzerland today. Um, that I have a chance, to, you know, you never know in your life what's going to happen. Chance to go see his town. So, and my nephew is here in Germany. And uh, so, you know, we're just going to, we're going to get off in Dusseldorf and head to Vienna and then uh, make a trip down to where the, the small town near the Hungary border uh, of Austria where my dad was born and just uh, 
you know, have opportunity to see that. So, I, you know, it's, for me, it's kind of the bucket list type thing and great opportunity to, you know, my dad, I was just fortunate, my dad and my grandpa, my grandma, they left there and, you know, it's given me these opportunities here in the United States and, and at Illinois.